Krusty is often depressed by a stale and unfunny comedy. So, he decides to reinvent himself as an edgy and honest stand-up comedian. He performs a successful gig at a comedy festival, where he mocks his own career and image. But like the corny old fellow he is, he soon realizes that he sold out his integrity and originality for fame and money. Krusty throws away his clown costume and makeup and jumps into a river where he emerges with a natural pale complexion, a true self-realization moment. Krusty then hitchhikes to a small town and lives a simple pastoral life. He's even said to have found true happiness there. Or, scratch that, that's rarely how the story goes. In this narrative of The Simpsons Theory, we'll look at Krusty the Clown's entire life story, his past and future. Welcome to Krusty the Clown's complete timeline. Herschel Schmeichel Pinkus Yeruchum Krustovsky, aka Krusty the Clown, was born in the Lower East Side of Springfield. He's the son of Rabbi Hyman Krustovsky, a Jew, who strongly opposed his wish to become a clown and make people laugh, believing that it would distract him from his religion. As a rebellious kid, Krusty would perform slapstick comedy in secret, hiding his clown makeup from his father. However, when he was performing with the disguise at a rabbi's convention, one joking rabbi squirted seltzer on him, washing off his makeup and revealing his true identity. His dad was so shocked and disappointed that he disowned his Krusty and did not speak to him for 25 years. Krusty then pursued his dream of becoming a professional clown, but faced many hardships and challenges along the way. He was once arrested for robbing a convenience store, but was bailed out by his agent, Annie Dubinsky, who helped him launch his career. He also had a brief stint as a serious talk show host in 1961, but soon reverted to his childish and cynical persona. He became addicted to various substances, such as cigarettes, alcohol, and prescription drugs, and developed a gambling problem. Krusty married and divorced several times to various women, including Holly Hippie, Mia Farrow, and Eartha Kitt. He also fathered a daughter, Sophie, with a female soldier he had a one-night stand with named Aaron during the Gulf War. But Krusty didn't know about Sophie's existence until many years later. Oh, and just so you know, Krusty's name is a pun on the word Krusty and a reference to Rusty Nails, a real-life clown who inspired Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons. Krusty has been in showbiz for 50 years, but spent half of that time away from his father. He became the host of his own TV show, The Krusty Clown Show, which debuted in 1957. The show featured a combination of kiddie variety television hijinks and cartoons, such as the Itchy and Scratchy Show, which Krusty often stole from other sources. Krusty's catchphrase is, Hey, hey! He uses it to greet his audience and fans wherever he appears on screen or on stage. It's one of the most recognizable and iconic phrases in The Simpsons. The show also had several sidekicks, such as Sideshow Mel, Mr. Teeny, and most notably, Sideshow Bob, who became Krusty's archenemy after he framed him for armed robbery and tried to kill him and Bart Simpson several times. Krusty's show was very popular among children, especially Bart and Lisa Simpson, who idolized him and helped him out of many troubles. However, Krusty's show also faced many controversies and scandals, such as being canceled, sued, boycotted, or taken over by various parties. Krusty also had to deal with many competitors and rivals, such as Gabo, Princess Penelope, and his own half-brother, Luke Perry. In the episode Krusty Gets Cancelled, which aired in 1993, Krusty was 48 years old. His show was losing ratings to a new ventriloquist dummy named Gabo, who insulted him on air. Krusty tried to fight back, but failed miserably. He was then fired by his network and replaced by a show called Gabo. Krusty became depressed and suicidal, but was cheered up by Bart and Lisa, who convinced him to stage a comeback special with the help of many celebrities, such as Johnny Carson, Bette Midler, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The special was a huge success, and Krusty regained his popularity and his show. In the episode, Today I Am a Clown, Krusty was 56 years old. He realized that he had never had a bar mitzvah, a Jewish rite of passage, because of his estrangement from his father. So, he decided to have one, but his father refused to attend, still holding a grudge against him. Krusty then hired a new agent, Jay Leno, who convinced him to turn his bar mitzvah into a TV spectacle. However, this angered his father even more, who felt that Krusty was mocking their religion. Krusty then realized that he had made a mistake and canceled the TV show. He reconciled with his father, who agreed to perform a private and sincere bar mitzvah for him. He even asked for his father's opinion for major decisions in his life, which the old man gleefully agreed to. 
In the episode Clown in the Dumps, the 553rd episode of the show, which aired in 2014, Krusty was 65 years old. He was devastated by the death of his father, who died of a heart attack after trying to tell Krusty what he felt about his jokes. So Krusty decided to retire from show business, feeling that he had lost his sense of humor. He moved to a Jewish retirement home, where he met his childhood hero, Rabbi Krustovsky, who was actually his father's cousin. Rabbi Krustovsky encouraged him to find his true self and gave him a book of jokes that his father had written for him. Krusty then realized that his father loved him and that he still had a gift for comedy. He returned to his show and dedicated it to his father's memory. Krusty continued to host his show, but also branched out into other ventures, such as opening a clown-themed college, starring in a Broadway musical, and launching a line of pork products. He also reconnected with his daughter, Sophie, who grew up to be a violinist. He tried to be a good father to her, but often messed up or embarrassed her. Despite this, Sophie was happy to find her dad and ran to hug him. He also had a brief romance with Princess Penelope, a co-star on his show, but she left him for Sideshow Bob. He later became engaged to Holly, a hippie girl, but she dumped him at the altar, making another addition to Krusty's list of failed marriages. One of the most mysterious aspects of Krusty the Clown is his makeup. Is it really makeup or is it his natural skin color? Well, the answer is not clear, as there have been conflicting evidence throughout the series. In some episodes, such as Krusty Gets Busted and Homie the Clown, Krusty is shown to have normal skin under his makeup and he can wash it off or put it on. In other episodes, such as Like Father Like Clown and Krusty Gets Cancelled, Krusty is shown to have clown-like features even without his makeup, such as his green hair, red nose, and big mouth. In one episode, all about Lisa, Krusty even claims that he was born with a permanent smile. It's possible that Krusty's makeup is a combination of both cosmetic and genetic factors, or that he's undergone some surgery or mutilation to alter his appearance. In the episode Holidays of Future Past, Krusty was shown to be 73 years old in the year 2041. He was still hosting his show, but it had become very outdated and unpopular. He also started dating Marge Simpson, who had divorced Homer after he accidentally destroyed their house. Krusty and Marge had a very awkward and uncomfortable relationship, and they often argued or annoyed each other. Krusty also tried to bond with Marge's children and grandchildren, but they didn't respect or like him. Krusty eventually realized that he and Marge were not compatible. At one time, Krusty is seen beating up Homer at a field event after the latter challenges him to a fight. After the fight, Marge dumps Krusty and gets back together with Homer again. In the episode Krusty the Clown, he decided to enter politics as a clown after faking his own death to escape his debts. He ran for Congress in Springfield's 12th District against the incumbent Democrat Dan Quimby, who was the nephew of Mayor Quimby. Krusty used his fame and charisma to appeal to the voters and promised to bring more fun and entertainment to the government. He also hired Homer Simpson as his campaign manager, who helped him with his speeches and slogans. However, Krusty soon realized that politics was not as easy or fun as he thought, and that he had to deal with many issues and challenges, such as corruption, scandals, and lobbyists. He also faced opposition from his former sidekick, Sideshow Bob, who tried to sabotage his campaign and expose his secrets. Krusty managed to overcome these obstacles and won the election by a landslide. He became the first clown to serve in Congress and vowed to make a difference for his constituents. So there you have it, guys. Krusty's life story. Tell us what your favorite Krusty moment was in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.